Hello everyone, so today's video I am showing you a DIY coaster. I got these at Walmart. They were for 98 cents, I believe. It was definitely under a dollar each. So I got five of them and I painted in black with the acrylic black paint at Walmart you can get at the art section you're gonna need your glue stick the glue gun which is heating scissors and the pencil also these foam paper which I got at Walmart I got the black one and I got the silver glitter one as you can see I cut it out and you're going to You're going to put it like that and you're going to circle it around so you can cut it out. Which I did right here. I cut it out. And then once you're done, you glue it onto here with the foam paper. I had to put that there so it can help. And there you go, you have your coasters. No one's not going to see the back of it, so it's just going to be like that. I'm putting two of the silver glitter one on my countertop because I'm decorating the countertop. And then the rest is going to be somewhere else. It's going to be by the coffee and by the recliner which we have a little table there my husband likes black so it's his favorite color and i thought it will look good with the black edges i didn't want this color to show so there you go you have your coasters a diy coaster is nice and sturdy too and it won't melt in case anyone asks so or if you want, you can put the foam paper in the back too. You can do double if you want. It's up to you. It's just all preference. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So, I end up doing the front and the back. I know I said I was going to leave the back um, without doing the foam paper. But I just didn't like it that way. Again, it's personal preference. But with me, I like the front and the back that I did for both of them. It's going to be flat like that anyway. So, yep. 